Welcome to another episode of Screams of the Squirrel. Today we're going to hack our Morton system and turn it into a strip cutter. We've already done the um, tutorial on how to cut strips, but you have to keep taking out your glass, measuring it, and then cutting it. What we're going to do today is turn it into a strip cutting system so that you can cut your strips a whole lot faster. We're going to use a couple of simple different methods. I've got our um, square fence that we're going to mark with two different sides. I like to use quarter inch strips on one side and three eighths on the other. I have one that's already marked and ready to go, but I'll show you how to do it. Another uh, method that we use is using a ruler along our square fence, which is probably my preferred method. Um, and I'll show you how to do that as well. What you'll need is a Sharpie, or some kind of marking instrument, your cutting tool, a ruler, and your square fence, and of course the rest of your Morton system to be able to get things up. What you won't need are your um, stops. So let's get started. I'm going to do the um, cutting system and use the square fence first. You set it up like you would your Morton system, and you line it up. And what I tend to do is I use my um, cutting tool and I figure out where it's going to line up with the fence and on my squaring tool and I mark that with a mark on the square fence. And you can see that I've got it marked here. That's where my scoring tool is going to hit. Each one of these little lines indicates a quarter of an inch. So when I get ready to cut strips, what I will do, and I'm just going to do a quick demonstration cut four strips and show you how fast this is compared to doing it the other way. You line up your piece to the first quarter inch line and you just go ahead and give it a score. Slide it another quarter of an inch, give it a score. Another quarter of an inch, and you're moving out to each dot or you can use the line on the dot from the previous one. Give it a cut. Give it a score, and then you just simply run your brakes. Start at the very last one, so I have now I have four strips ready to go. And there it is, we just cut four quarter inch strips lickety split instead of having to do measurements and over again. Now we're going to do the 3 8 inch, it's basically the same thing. You just turn it over. And I've already marked where my 3 8 inch strips are. I'm just going to give this two quick scores for you to see how I do it. You line this out to the first 3 8 inch line. You see your dot right here. And then you just give it a quick score. Move it to the next one. You could go all the way out. And I've got 3 8 inch strips cut lickety split. That's using your Morton square fence. When you use the ruler, which is the one that I tend to like better, I use the 9 inch mark and then I line everything up. I also took and folded a piece of scotch tape over my ruler because it helps to protect the paint on here, the oil from your, your scoring tool. If you use oil in your tool, will tend to rub off the markings of your ruler. So it's a very simple process to do. What you'll do is you line up your scoring tool, except instead of putting it on the table, you're going to move one square back so it's just hanging off the edge. And you're going to move your top tool down a little bit as well so that you have your scoring fence lined up. And then I use these two clamps as well that you can pick up at any hardware store. I picked these up at Harbor Freight. I think they were a dollar a piece. I take my ruler and I put it in here underneath my straight edge and I line it up and I know that the 9 inch line is where I like to work from because it gives me a few inches to, to score runs. I line it up. I move my table just off the edge a little bit so that I can get my tool, my clamp, to clamp down nice and tight. Now I know that I'm lined up with my one inch or my nine inch line. And I'm gonna cut some quarter inch strips real quick for you. 
Line it up to the quarter inch. Give it a score. Another quarter inch. And you just keep moving it over, lining it up, and you're going to get nice equal scores every single time. So those are the two methods that I use to cut strips, to make long strips, short strips. You can um, really utilize the whole length of your Morton system, and instead of having to cut and measure every time, you just move it over a quarter of an inch, cut it, and you still keep the same principle of breaking them in half at each score. So I hope you found this useful. I know I did. Um, so go out there and happy strip cutting.